BTS motherfucker, how you doing? Ling Ling back again, and today is day two of Las Vegas. Today I'm taking them to the Win Buffet. I had to make a reservation because I missed out last time I was here. They were booked up. This lady right here at the front desk, she gave me the weirdest vibe, and we had the weirdest fucking conversation. I didn't like her, but Ryan was our waiter, and he was very nice. People say this is the best buffet in Las Vegas, so of course I had to come and see it for myself. They had a lot of seafood options, hot and cold. So cute, give me thumbs up. <laughs> they had like a Hawaiian luau section, a Mexican section. They had prime rib and veal. They had sushi and they had a whole bunch of different stuff. I think I paid about $70 per person for this buffet. For some reason, I thought there was going to be more lobster, but there wasn't. There was lobster claw, but no lobster tail. My mom, she may not show love and affection to me growing up. But one thing about her is she always been frugal and live for her kid. Every dollar, she saved money to make sure that her kids have a home. She never spent any money on herself and she never go and enjoy her money. So that's why my job come in as an older daughter now. I'm to spoil the old people. I always tell her, man, just go spend your goddamn money, man. You can't fucking die with it. You can't take it with you in the afterlife. So just spend it, man. She's still not going to do it. <laughs> this morning, the two old ladies wake up early. They snuck down and went to the casino to gamble a little bit. Then by the time I wake up, I tell them to get ready so we can go eat at the buffet. That prime rib was really good. It looked raw, but it's not. It's very juicy, very tender. For the cold seafood, they had like chopped the crab leg in half so easy for you to peel out. But then I try the hot crab leg. It's always better. Better than the cold. The broccolini was okay. It was a little bit undercooked. It's a little bit hard, so I feel like I was eating a tree bark. The cocktail shrimp were delicious. They were really big size. Growing up in my Asian household, we never went out to eat anywhere. If we ever go out to eat, it's the buffet because they feel like that's where you get your money worth. You know damn well they're not going to pay $70 for a buffet. You know, the Chinese buffet, they'd be like $13 for dinner per person. Yeah, that's the type of buffet we went to. But the quality of the food here is really, really much better. My second plate, I got some veal, some salad, and some elote corn. I didn't like the corn much either. And the rice tastes like dirty water. But wow, golly, check out the dessert section. They had a lot of options, and they also had a bunch of ice cream that you can pick from. You know, right here, this part, Mr. Stretch was in heaven. The cookies were really good. The cookies were nice and moist and very soft. I like soft cookie. It really makes me happy to see other people eat. <laughs> now, food is a universal happiness for everybody. No matter what country you are from, food makes everybody happy. Look at that. That was all the ice cream choices. So pretty. My son, he eat about five plates of food here. And my daughter, she ate all the sushi. And, you know, Mr. Stretch, he eat all the sweets. I love coming to Las Vegas. There's good food. There's shows. Things are open all the time. There's a lot of fun activity to do here. So if you've never come, you need to go and visit Las Vegas. So after we finish eating, we're going to go walk it off and do a little bit of shopping. This lady right here says she watched me all the time. And I love that. Look at my mommy looking like a creep in the back. <laughs> if I've been around the grandmas for two days and you saw how he was walking with his hand in his back like them. This is Mr. Stretch's new favorite store, Amiri. My mom kept asking, how much is the shoe? We didn't tell her. <laughs> so after shopping, we took them to the show at Treasure Island. It's called Mystery. Mystery. I'm not sure how you pronounce it. I think it's French. This show was perfect for them because they didn't do a lot of talking. So you didn't really need to speak English to understand the show. Let me tell you something. I've been to a lot of show in Las Vegas and I will say this was one of the best show I ever been to. It was so entertaining. The people that do the acrobat were so talented. There was comedy. It was so funny. The costume, the makeup was amazing. I rate this show a 10 out of 10. The Mystery show at the Treasure Island. They love it. They give them big clap. The other day, I took them to the massage place, and they love it so much. And they say they want to do it again. So now it's like 11.30 p.m. I take them to go get massage again. Because we are leaving Vegas tomorrow, so, you know, do what they want. Then we stop by Sonic to get some food, and by this time, they are tired. Look at my mama. She in the back knocked the fuck out. Hey, for ADO lady, they doing really good. They kept up all day long. Look at her. Pass out. <laughs> Thank you guys for watching. Have a good night. Bye.